theft. Well, I thought you got quite a good deal. You sort of stayed at jacket, even the moths had moved out. Well, it was more than a jacket to him. I've told you I'll get it back. Oh, sorry. Yes, we are. Bye-bye. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, well, if it's dead and mucky. <laughs> <laughs> the hell did you say to Lara? Lara's a friend and colleague said the right to know you're going to two times. Yeah. And we'll give you the right to tell her. Oh, yeah, like you were going to. That's my business, Dylan. No, I have to work with both of you. Rachel's a police sergeant and she's married. The last thing we need is some dude going to shoot in his mouth off. OK, fine, so I won't say anything more. Fine. Except this. You're behaving like a self-centred, egotistical prat. Because that's what you are. Who knows me so well? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I, I cannot believe you pulled a stunt like that. Well, the scarves. I didn't plan that. This, this jacket. No, Charlie, it wasn't the Paul Daniels impression that got to me. That was merely cheap. It was the fact that you used a charitable event to beat a political drum. We need more nurses, you know that. I mean, I'll, I'll take every opportunity to say that. You will not. You aren't here on your own personal soapbox tonight. You're representing the trust, the hospital. It just kills me that we could end up with a, a brand new ward and not be able to afford to staff it. I know that is exactly what I spent every single day trying to sort out, but that is not <coughs> the point. I think you're overreacting. This is impossible. So what exactly did Dylan say? That you've got a girlfriend. Too late to deny it. No. Just nobody else's business. Really? Well, I'm glad Dylan at least had the decency to warn me. Anyway, it's no big deal. End of story. It's fine, Barbara. How are you doing? Better than my son. He's paralyzed. His future's ruined. It doesn't have to be. You don't have children, do you? I've lived with him in his dreams for the past 18 years. I let my guard down for one moment. It's all gone. If I could just turn the clock back. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. So, which one's going after us then? Hey, Jackie boy. Uh, good time, as soon as you're wrong, get me. Yeah, so it's my round. It certainly is. Good <laughs> Um, half a lark will be fine. Hey! Evening! Jack, you got me this little gig to make up for stealing my jacket. Oh, I thought yeah. I did, mate. I said you'll get it back. Let's get us a pint, please. Pass no, 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 no. Let me, I insist. Here, get them out of this. Uh, yeah, man, that's my wallet, man. You stole that. Borrow, Jack. You'll get it back. Oh, um, do you want to buy a watch? That's not even fun. <laughs> I was rather hoping you'd done a vanishing trick. You won't convince me that I've done anything wrong. You abused your position, Charlie. I told the truth. Maybe I was a bit indiscreet. Yeah. Discretion is part of your job now. You have to watch what you say. Now, if you can't accept the responsibilities as well as the pay rides, I suggest you rethink. It had to be said. This was not the place to say it. Look, I know you have a point. Re recruitment's my biggest headache at the moment, but I also know that if you ever say anything like that in public again, then you'll be a patient in your own precious emergency department. Are you threatening me, Miss Goddard? Yes, I certainly am, Mr. Fairhead. Oh, you're lovely when you're angry. Don't, don't oh, you oh, dare pull oh, that one. Right. Thank you. Cheers. Every little helps. It's not difficult to see why you get the most tips. That's it, better up the nurse. You never know when you might leave for yourself. My first in the queue. You definitely are. I want to ask you something. Okay. Why don't you get yourself a drink? Fancy a nightcap, traitor? Where did you have in mind? 
Not a lot of places open this time of night. Oh, well, I, I wasn't thinking of a bar. I mean, you don't want to be seen fraternising with the enemy more than you have to, do you? No. No. So? So, my place? Your place. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is that a rabbit in your pocket? No, I'm just pleased to see Please it. <laughs> For my next trick. Oh. <coughs> I think I prefer the rabbit. Yeah, okay. I think so do I. <laughs> Come here. But I'll miss out on my 10%, won't I? No more of that for you, Chloe. What do you mean? I can see why you're a good nurse. You're good with people. Wow, well, you are good with me. <laughs> Listen, I'm opening up a small club. Exclusive. Members only. Really? How do you feel about giving me a hand? What, do you think I, do you think I could? I mean, I have nothing uh, training or anything. You're a natural, sweetheart. Customers love you. Well, what would I have to do? Be yourself. You'd be, well, I suppose, the face of the club. Meet and greet, entertain my guests, flirt with them, make them laugh. When they think of my club, they think of you. Um, the only thing is my work. How would I fit around my shift? You'd be paid more, a lot more. And it would be fun. Well, yeah, OK then, if you think so. Excellent. He got the job, starts on Monday. Well, you're going to congratulate me. Oh, uh, yeah, well done. I'm sorry, I'll just work. It's all coming together, isn't it? Could be. You're as bad as him. It might not be exactly what he wanted, but it's a real start. Uh, it's wonderful news. Your mum's right, you can't always get what you want, but... Uh... And anyway, one thing could lead to another. You're bright enough. Not always, Mum. Some people write you off after one stupid mistake. Not anymore. That was in the past. Come on, the table's booked. Well? Then I told you, I can't give you morphine. Give it to me. Next up, it's the man with about as much fashion sense as David Dickinson. We're crossing to Jersey for some serious Channel Island crime with Jim Bergerac next.